In the recent weeks, I have done more musical content than honestly I thought I ever would. It's been a sudden and very welcome change. I've done Hamilton, Heathers, even the guy who didn't like musicals, and then the most recent video was the FNAF musical. And of course that means there have been so many recommendations for different musicals, and what won the vote in my Discord server was Six the Musical. Side note, if you're not in my Discord server, you have to be. It's a requirement to watch my videos. The link will be in the description. Is that aggressive enough or do I need to be a bit more? Bit more. Okay. You have to be! <laughs> also before we start, I wanted to say that I have a Patreon. You can get all kinds of cool perks over there, including an uncut reaction once per week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link will be in the description below. So I have at least a little bit of context about this. I know it is about Henry VIII's wives, and they're all trying to decide who is gonna be the lead singer of their band by seeing who had it worse under Henry VIII. The first one is called Ex-Wives. Actually, that is something I meant to say. I am very interested to see the style of this because I've heard it's pop, but I don't know if it's pop in like the way that Hamilton was or the, the way that pop is. <laughs> Divorced. Okay. Beheaded. I feel like I'm gonna get some KDA shit. <laughs> Beheaded. Actually, this reminds me of Chicago. Doesn't it sound like it? Oh my god. I love Chicago. Alright. That's a high vocal range. Is that a TikTok sound? I feel like something here is a TikTok sound. It sounds like the most vaguely familiar little nugget. And I think that's literally because I've probably heard about eight seconds. <laughs> Some gorgeous vibrato. Well, I love that like a couple of them are like really high range and then you've got someone that's coming in like mid to low range to kind of really balance everything out. Their voice so far is my favorite, but you know, we've only heard like one line from each person. So subject to change. Divorced, beheaded, died. <laughs> I love the kick in the bass. Oh my God. I feel bad because I'd put this on like my party playlist. Like <laughs> divorced, headed. <laughs> This is a build. Are we gonna get a drop? That was not this. <laughs> they literally sampled green sleeves. I never knew I needed like an EDM version of green sleeves. <laughs> I mean, it's always a dumb thing to say because, you know, it's a musical and they're incredible singers, but they sound amazing. <laughs> Beheaded, survived. I love those trumpets. Is that what they are? Beheaded, cool. The offbeat hits are amazing. There's got to be room for a high note here, right? On the wives. Oh, that run! That was flawless. Hot damn. How, like, minimalist this has gotten is such a cool contrast. They're really showing off the runs. I love that weird scattery synth. Hands up, get this party buzzing. Nice. That's a nice change. Want a queen bee? Well, there's half a dozen. Everybody knows that we used to be six. Bro, this bit's hitting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I was... That was awesome. What an introduction. That was like fire. And it kept changing so much. And I'm always at least a little bit thankful when a song does that, especially when it's something that's like six minutes long, because it's really, really easy to just, I don't know, like get a little bored. <laughs> Every time it cycled through to like a chorus or even different verses, it just tried something new each time. And damn, if that didn't keep me hooked. Also thought I should say, cause I am feeling it. You are gonna see sweat, a sheen, it's gonna be gorgeous, I'm gonna be shiny. And every time I've mentioned that in videos, I've been like, oh, it's cause it's really hot in Australia. Do you know how many people, like seriously, how many comments there are that are like, oh, I didn't know you're Australian, I'm Australian too. It's like, bro, I sound, I sound so Aussie. <laughs> 
The next one is called Get Down. If this doesn't make me want to dance, we're gonna riot, y'all. I'm so fancy. <laughs> English accent too, hell yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I heard the English accents in the last one, but like, they weren't constant and as strong. To be fair, you are the guy who didn't realize young blood was English. Stop being a sweaty! Can't make me stop, I wanna go hunting early, take This is not what I was expecting, but I'm glad I got it. Every day, get back for a round of cocaine. <laughs> it's like the poshest ours of all time. The speed up is cool. That's a technique that is used fairly often, but is always interesting to me because like the tempo of that verse felt really, really slow, which was a nice contrast with how quickly the lyrics were being delivered. But then instead of having this sound come in like every few beats, you suddenly have it hitting every single beat. So you go from that really slow feel to just like, All right, kind of weird, but I'm here for it. They're really playing with rhythm. Just like, as I say it, the amount of offbeat stuff coming in and the way they're messing with it is awesome. <laughs> How did I never know that I needed loot in like a hip hop song? I'm the queen of the castle, get down you dirty rascal. Get down. It's just so weird. Okay, hell yeah. Distorted vocals. Get down. There is so much happening. I'm the queen of the castle. Get down your dirty rascal. Oh, bro, the grit. Love it. Unironically, I would just like listen to this. I'd put it on my playlist. Dramatic fade out. So I really liked that one too. The only thing I'll say is that I just wish that chorus hit a little bit harder. At least for like the last one. I feel like you could have added something to really round out the sound and like make it hit as this like big sound, especially because she sung over it a bit more at the last repetition. I still think it was great, but that addition could have just like really pumped it up for me. This next one is called All You Wanna Do. Oh my God, my favorite already. <laughs> I was a child and make the boys go wild. Is that the line? What were, sorry, did you hear that line? Ever since I was a child, I'd make the boys go wild. <laughs> Take my first music teacher, Henry Mannix. I was young, it's true. Bro, the sounds. Broad, dark, oh. sexy Mannix. I feel bad for jamming out with these lyrics, but this is incredible. He plucked my strings all the oh, way God. to G. Went from major to minor, C to D. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Maybe this is it. He just cares so much, it feels legit. The way they strip everything away before the chorus is so good. I think this guy is different. Oh, it is so good. I can't with these lyrics. I will say, I do think it's cool to like address the problematic nature of relationships, especially back then there was like so much grooming. It's insane. Not that grooming isn't a thing now, it definitely is. But yeah, I feel like you can't make a musical like this and shy away from all those ugly bits, especially when it's from the perspective of women because boy, if it wasn't fucked up. Serious, stern and slow. The twangy bass. Oof, that's for me. My wrist was so tired. Still, I came back the next day as he required. Oof. I feel the, the slides in the vocals are just so effortless. I can't, I can't believe it. Gave me duties in court and he swears it's true. That without me, he doesn't know what he'd do. This has just got me like tapping my foot. I don't think I've stopped. Everyone had, like, there's no weak vocals in, in this at all. He cares so much, he calls me love. He says we have this connection. Was that piano and strings as well? I don't know if they've been in the rest of the song. I haven't, I haven't really noticed, but like a lot of the instrumentals so far in all of these songs has been like taking like old style elements and kind of modernizing them a bit. And it just felt like so different for a second to hear like a deep warm piano and then really nice strings. I would have expected that to be a bit more like, I don't know, modern synth poppy, but it was really nice for a quick change in sound. All you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby, is touch me, love me, can't get enough, see 
I love that uh, little pluck that's going like ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba throughout it. It breaks up the sound a little. But it's never, ever before. Oh, a sustain. Yes! That was fucking awesome. What a note. Oh my god! What a voice! Holy sh! The only thing, the only thing, the only thing you wanna do is. Oh my freaking god, dude! That was one of the best notes I've heard, like in these videos. That was bonkers, is what I call that. And now here's the problem: all I want is to see this live. I want to see someone hit that beautiful note, blow my face away live. So actually, I'm officially starting Matthew's Change.org petition to have Six the Musical come and play, but like just in my living room. That's fine, right? <laughs> Absolutely no words. That was phenomenal and I loved it all the way through. And I think like 20 or 30 seconds in, I said it was my favorite song. And you know what? I was right. I'm also enjoying how thoroughly they're telling a story because I don't really have context. I don't even really know the history here, but I am understanding the stories that these women are telling and their experiences. And to be able to convey that while also making an absolute banger of a song is very impressive. The last one we're gonna listen to is called Don't Lose Your Head. Oh my god. We we born short life was a chore, so she said Alright, the attitude's already here. I wanna dance and sing. Politics. Yo, I love the mixing in this, how like tight those vocals sound. You're a nice guy. I'll think about it maybe. X O oh, baby. Oh that is a TikTok sound. I'm so happy to finally know where that's from. I've literally had that in my head before. I've been like brushing my teeth and be like, I think about it maybe X O oh, baby. <laughs> And I've had no idea what it's from. Oh my god, it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. L O L, say oh well, or go to hell. There are so many plucks in all of these songs and it works. Sorry, not sorry about what I said. It's another situation where I'm like expecting a chorus to hit, and I wonder if they're gonna do it for the last one. The acoustic drums, I just realized, are really helping give a different sound. Everything's been a little like electronic and MIDI created. That's a cool change. Sorry, no, sorry, oh, that's what I wanted. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Got like a punk sound. Oh my god, it went higher. There is such a thing as too good, you know? And that last chorus was teetering on it. <laughs> I am so glad that they did that little change at the end of that one because it felt like I was ready for it the whole song. It was teasing me, it kept giving me the little taste, but then it really delivered for that last chorus. Oh my God. Every song though, like I was so into. When I do videos, especially on musicals, I always expect to not particularly vibe with like at least one song, you know? Like I can't like everything. But for this, I liked everything. <laughs> I still think all you wanna do beats out Don't Lose Your Head for me. I think maybe if the entirety of Don't Lose Your Head was in that kind of like punk rock sphere, then I think maybe it would have won out for me, but all you want to do takes it for me, dude. It's just slappage, pure slappage. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.